Welcome back to Mudrunner, y'all, and in this video, we're jumping into a map that I have never personally been to before, but it promises to deliver a absolutely beautiful and also very realistic experience. Now, this map I will have linked in the description box down below, so if you want to try this map out for yourselves on Mudrunner, make sure you follow that link to the Steam Workshop page, and that will get you to the map. Now, the vehicle that we're going to be using today is Terminator X-58's Jeep Gladiator build. This thing is, I mean, when I say it's fully built, it is fully built. Look at the suspension. Look at the coilovers. Look at the entire steering setup, the axle setup. I mean, we have to put a bed on it, obviously, but it'll be fine once we do that. So let's fire it up. Oh, what? Oh, Mudrunner crashed. We switched vehicle colors, and now the game works. Now, obviously, there was a little bit more in there than just a color switch. It switched tires as well. I don't know if it had something to do with the map or with the vehicle or what exactly happened, but regardless, now we should be able to get out on the trail. So, it looks like we've got a little bit of a junction here. We can choose to go right or left. I mean, we're in full exploration mode right now, y'all. I have never been here before, so it's up to us to decide. Do we go to the right or do we go to the left? It looks like if we look at the gps the left will give us a either a mud route or this looks like maybe a little bit of like a crawler route this actually goes up to the top of a mountain maybe a little bit quicker so i think what we'll do is we'll go left that route looks a little bit more uh at least a little bit more interesting in a like direct way it looks like it throws you right into obstacles pretty quick so i'm not saying turning right wouldn't do that i'm just saying this one looks like you might get into some uh more obstacle based situations a little bit quicker so this is going to be the way we're going to head now, already I can tell you that this map definitely feels very, very realism directed, very realism targeted, and very directed at a audience that wants to feel that realistic trail riding vibe the entire time they're driving, and it absolutely pulls it off. I mean, it makes sections like this actually feel kind of sketchy, because coming down that in real life, like downhill, off camber, unless you're really, really experienced, you might be a little bit nervous. I mean, if you're a newbie, that would definitely be a nerve-wracking section for you. Now, obviously, this is a very capable rig. It's not necessarily going to flip over at the drop of a hat. But if you get into a situation that's gnarly enough, you could still very easily flip this gladiator over. Cool thing about the gladiator is that it adds a little bit of extra challenge into the mix because obviously your approach and departure angles, especially your departure angle, is a little bit compromised in comparison to something like a Wrangler. So that is also something you got to take into account. Now, this is where things should get a little bit more gnarly. So let's see what this section of trail has for us. Oh, yeah. Dude, these rocks are gorgeous, by the way. Oh, I love that. I love seeing the direct interaction between the Jeep and the rocks. Oh, back it up. Definitely an aspect that uh, that Mudrunner has over SnowRunner for sure, because you can see and feel that interaction directly. So let me kind of flex my way through here. Nice and easy. There we go. Oh, my God, dude. This is... This is a little bit into sketch territory now because you're starting to have to deal with areas that are maybe a little bit trickier than this Jeep's wheelbase was intended for. I think I'm going to take this left line over here. This left line doesn't look like I'm going to get high center too bad. I say as I immediately high center myself. Hold on. All right, slight adjustment. Kind of slide it through over the edge right there. I don't know if that was a good line or just a really sketchy line. I wonder if I can sort of take this center line right here. Let's not do that. Hold on. Hold on, my dude. Wait just a minute there. Let's see if we can... Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Nice and easy. Not bad. Oh, yeah, that notch was perfect for the Gladiator because here's the thing. When you have a notch obstacle like that, you're not worried about getting high-centered at all. You're just worried about putting the grip and the power down. That's a little bit of a sketcho line. Probably should have just gone right down the middle. If that was real life, I would have just banged up my sliders and probably my doors really bad. The sliders, that's fine. That's what they're there for. But the doors, I don't know if I want to smash those up. This climb does not let up whatsoever, by the way. As you get further and further up the mountain, your challenges just keep on increasing. Which, if you're somebody that likes challenging, like realistic hill climbs this map oh dude you're gonna love it you're absolutely gonna love it and this 
is one of the most well-balanced vehicles, I think, for a map like this, because it still gives you that element of challenge, but if you drive it well and you drive it right, I say as I high center it, but I, I, I promise, if you drive it well and you drive it right, you will find the lines you're looking for. God, I smashed the crap out of that back bumper. I probably would have ripped it off if this was real life. All right, let's get a little bit further up the hill now, and I'm going to check the GPS again momentarily because I want to see if we can get a little bit closer to the top of that mountain. Now, if we make a right, whoa! Okay, so this gets us back onto a slightly more main trail, if you could call it that. Now, as we get a little bit further down this one, whoa, I would have rip ripped off probably my exhaust and my back bumper, really trying to not do either of those things right now, trying to actually keep things together, you know what I mean? Easy, kind of flexing it through, going a little bit around the edge. All right, we're going to drop down in ratios a little bit now because it's starting to get really gnarly really fast. But man, look at that flex shot of this thing. Really trying to go diagonally because there's only so much you can do with this wheelbase. But let's see if I can... Okay, there we go. Had to kind of shift it over back to the other side of the rocks. I'm trying to get just a little bit of momentum. If I can get a little bit of momentum combined with a little bit of grip, I'll be good to go. There it is. Not bad. Not bad. And if I'm not mistaken, this is probably that mountain that we saw on the GPS. I'm going to have to check the GPS in a moment, but I didn't really look at it when I said I was going to, but let's see. Oh, dude, yeah, we're like right up here already. That's wild. Oh, yo, this descent looks nasty. That descent looks super nasty. I'm about to see how crazy that descent is because if the side, like, climb was as gnarly as it was, I bet you that descent is going to be just as gnarly, if not more. Now, let's have a quick look at how far we can see down this ravine, because I bet you it's quite far. Wow, I love how I said this is going to be super gnarly. It's not as gnarly as I thought it was. Well, I'm not in the thick of it yet, but it's not as gnarly as I thought it was going to be. Obviously, now we're going down, so that's going to make it a little simpler, but... Ooh, easy. All right, I'm going to be really just using the gearing now because this is full throttle in whoa okay all the way down in low come on this is at the bottom of low Ooh, i'm trying not to use the brakes much because we can slide if we're not careful and if we start sliding we can start rolling and then if we start rolling then it's bad news all the way to the bottom oh that's gonna be a big drop this would be a really fun route to climb, I can tell you that right now. This route looks like it is absolutely built to be climbed. I mean, it's built to be, des like, descended as well, but if you want to have a wild experience, I would definitely say, oh, see, there we go, I centered it. I'm going to pull cable, I'm not going to, like, just sit and wait and try to, like, you know, kind of fidget around with the grip. I don't really want to do that. Oh, easy. And I don't really think you guys want to see me, like, fidget around with the grip for, like, 10 minutes straight. So let's go ahead and drop right off the front side of this rock. And now, I will really want to see if we can climb back up there. Look at that climb. Holy. Yo. Look back at that climb. Wow. That's gnarly. Like, that is absolutely nasty, dude. That is... That is insane. What a freaking climb that is. <laughs> That's definitely one that I want to climb. All right. Let's go down here and turn around real quick. I'm going to put it in high just so we can scoot up a bit. We'll back up. And boom. We're good. Yo, look at that. That is intimidating from down here. That is super intimidating from down here. Are you kidding? All right. I'm thinking about like low two should be a decent range for this. I did not go diagonally enough. I thought I did. I definitely did not. All right. Go back into... Let's see. I'm thinking either low two or low three. Probably, like, low two. Honestly. Because low two is just kind of, like, chilling out right there. Whereas, like, low three, you've got to be committed to some pace to run low three. All right. There we go. Got it up on the offset side. Whoa. Okay. That got sketch real fast. Dropped it back down to where it wasn't quite so sketch. Let's see if we can find it. Find it. Find it. Oh. Did I get it? Or am I going to need more beans? 
Give it a little bit of beans and see what happens. Try to... Oh, oh and it fell back down. Okay. I think I might need some additional sauce for this. Oh, there we go! Oh, what? Okay, well, we probably would have broken a drive shaft IRL doing that, but it's fine because it's Mud Runner, and all we did was land in the middle of the Jeep. All right, it's fine. There we go. Yo, this... I knew it was going to be gnarly going back up. I didn't know it was going to be this gnarly going back up. This is insanity. Let me just kind of, like, squeeze my way over here diagonally to the right. And then ease my way back to the middle, or just... Or just sit there. I mean, that's, like, up to you. Whatever you want to do. You go when you feel like it. Come on, Jeep. There we go. Yeah, this is absolutely more technical than the first route of the mountain that we took. The first route of the mountain that we took had its technical moments, but it is nowhere near as technical as this. This is nasty levels of technical. We've got it going pretty good now, though. Just got to get a little bit further on up. I'm going to give this one a... Oh, crap. I was going to give that one a bump because I knew it was a little sketch. Oh, wheel speed cannot... Oh, wait. There we go. I was about to say, it was like it was like it was telling me wheel speed cannot help you here. And I'm like, oh, really? I beg to differ. Have some wheel speed. That's the other thing that I love about Mudrunner is that, like, wheel speed seems to actually matter, you know? Scrambling. Okay, yep. Try not to scramble too much. All right, let's try that again. A little bit of a bump or not. Yeah, no bump. Okay, all right. Spool it. Come on. Oh, no. Okay, got offline really bad. Really, really bad. I'm going to have to commit to this bump over here, I think. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm going to have to commit to this bump over here. Ah, oh, crap. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Dude, I almost rolled it. This is nasty, dude. This is absolutely insane. And if you are looking for a realistic, like, trail riding and rock crawling experience in Mud Runner that you may or may not have seen before, this is the absolute place to do it. But hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I will see you all next time.